Uh, my name is Steve Cesa, uh, second year at James Madison, coach the inside linebackers and coordinate the defense. Uh, I, I would say this is we've got a we've got a, a very savvy group of linebackers. We've got some experience there. We've got some youth there, um, but we have a lot of intelligence in that position, which I think is really critical. Um, you know, our focus, and this is really true, the focus of the whole defense is to try to be uh, as aggressive, as physical, uh, as as uh, emotional as we can be. We want to play with a lot of passion when we're out there, and a lot of that starts with the linebacker. They're kind of the the quarterback of the defense a little bit, and so. Uh, our focus is really to get them to understand the game of football the best that they can uh, coming out of fall camp and getting ready for the first game. Well, I think, you know, you get into coaching to be a mentor. Um, you know, the game's obviously important, but you're, you're in the game to be a mentor to help develop guys. And so we really try hard as a staff um, to, to do a lot of things um, with our guys off the field. Um, Within, within the confines of what we're allowed to do in the off season to meet with those guys, to, to have them over to the house and, and, and to kind of build relationships to where uh, there's, a, there's a great level of trust uh, between, uh, between both sides. And, and uh, so we try to do a lot of things that, that don't involve football so that football becomes a, a really fun medium for them, but, but we really try to mentor off the field. And again, the more we can do that is outside the building, uh, the, the better we'll be. Sure. Uh, you know, I, I alluded earlier to kind of being an intelligent group. Um, they have to be able to uh, adjust uh, to a lot of different things that they'll see. You know, offenses these, uh, these days will provide you with a lot of different looks. Uh, and so they have to be able to get guys lined up in front of them. they got to line themselves up. Uh, they have to understand really a lot about offensive football because a lot of their reaction needs to be pre-snap oriented. They have to have an idea. Uh, and so those guys... Um, they're quarterbacks in the sense that they have to know both sides of the ball really, really well. I think that's that's one of the things that they're working really hard to get done. Um, but I think overall gaining knowledge, that's that's the key to that position. The more that they know, the more that they can kind of direct the traffic that they need to direct uh, and then execute what we're asking them to do. You know, I think the, the thing that uh, the thing that I think is always important uh, at all positions is, is to, to generate depth for competition. Uh, I think everybody's at their best when they know someone's nipping at their heels. Uh, so I think, you know, the, the big thing, I, you know, you talk about the guys that came out of spring, uh, Gage Steele, Kyrie Hawkins, Brandon Herford, those were three guys that really had, a, I, I thought, an exceptional spring. Uh, guys that are going to be big time contributors for us. Um, and, and, and they'll be competing every single day to be in that starting role. I mean, they're all going to have a role, um, but, but there'll be guys that certainly start the game whether that matters or not, I don't know, uh, because at the end of the day, they're all going to have a contribution. Um, you know, and, and you know, really, really the newest guy coming in, Dimitri Holloway, he's going to, you know, uh, he's got all the tools, all the tangible tools. Uh, we have to really work hard to give him the intangibles uh, to go help him be successful because be, it, it's always uh, it's always difficult for young guys to go in and, and be really successful. Um, but you have to help teach them the game before they get on the field so that you can slow things down as much as possible. But I think those four guys are definitely going to have a role. Uh, and at the end of the day, we, I, I really expect every guy that's in that room, from Pat Cagle to Nick Machowski to David Alley to Steve Smallwood, uh, I expect every one of those guys to compete uh, to be a guy, to be on the field, uh, whatever that role may be. Uh, and we're going to really germinate as much competition as we can and, and have those guys know that no day are they guaranteed anything. You know, growing up, I, I came from Northern Virginia, so James Madison was always on my radar uh, as, a, as, a, as a high school senior, places to be. Uh, it's always been a very well-respected school in the state. Uh, I think what makes James Madison unique is the fact that you have a very, uh, very excellent academic school uh, that also is not afraid to be a very excellent athletic school as well. I think it's a great marriage of both sides um, to where it doesn't focus singularly on either side, uh, but it combines the best of both worlds, and you have a student body that's second to none in their support uh, of all the athletic departments, and you have a, an administration that will really do everything they can to make you and allow you to be successful. Uh, I think those things, it's of all the places I've been, has had the best balance of all those things, and uh, it's really exciting to be here and have a chance to be uh, be a part of this uh, program.